we're gonna get me some of that coronavirus. So anyway, the exhaust is out. Um, I started wiping it down uh, just so I can sell it. I still gotta put the other exhaust tip with the rest of it. And uh, yeah, just uh, kind of just get rid of it and sell it. And while I was down there, I realized that I haven't given you guys a proper, uh, I don't know, introduction to what's under the hood of this one. And it's kind of funny because people keep asking me if it's stock, if it's modified, or uh, what's the story behind this car. So yeah, let me get some lighting on here. And there we go, really good lighting now. So, so pretty much this is a, uh, I believe it's a 246 stroker. Uh, it's got a girdle, uh, rotating assembly, the whole nine yards. It's got an odd looking balancer. It does not look like a TA though, or maybe it's a TA, but it was painted. I'm not sure. And it's also got that little nub sticking out of there. I don't know if you can see it. Haven't really bothered doing any research on the engine. Uh, the, I just simply haven't had time. And it's working. The tune's all right. I've had to reset the tune on it a couple times. Uh, I had an old file saved. I seem to keep getting this weird issue where it just uh, it loses all the parameters and it gets kind of funky. It, uh, it lets me strand it a couple times already. And I'm starting to believe it's a wiring issue. But I have not been able to find anything from a quick glance at it. Again, I haven't spent much time with it. It is a call Heartline built engine. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. As with any engine build, I hear good and bad. <laughs> so you never know. It's got manual brakes, which really suck. I've bled them to no avail. So there's no air in that system. It's just not... I don't think that the master cylinder is properly sized for the calipers it has, which are the stock ones. Um, it's got a remote oil filter relocation thingamajigger. And uh, here you can actually see where it's located. Uh, lucky for me, uh, the battery had been relocated before I got it. So here's where the methanol tank is gonna go. And I'm gonna try to move the snow performance kit that I have on the 87 to this one. So this is the tank that I'm gonna be using and uh, this is pretty much uh, where I'll go. I'll be having to move this uh, stud that they put here and uh, it's probably gonna end up going on the inside that way the, the wire can come up and uh, this way and go down. I also have to extend all the positive leads that are the starter. Since I don't have to run the wires to the battery, I can relocate this stud over there and then the only wire that I have to worry about is the alternator running that way. But this tank would go here and um, as you can see, I have a little bit of a clearance issue with those uh, lines, but these are aftermarket air conditioning lines, so I can move these. Um, I may also be able to push the condenser further that way to get these, to get to close this gap. I just gotta be careful not to wear on the side of the radiator with these screws. I'll take off that bracket and uh, make it, I'll make it work. But the tank will go here and try to keep everything pretty much gravity fed. As you all know, those pumps are pushers, uh, not pullers. So pretty much the tank's gonna go here, pump and everything right here. And just to keep it sleeper, I'm actually gonna put the nozzles on, on the bottom of the up pipe. But yeah, with this one, I wanna keep it looking stock. Just kind of clean up the engine bay. Again, like as you can see, there's wires everywhere and that's just not how I like it. I would like it to be clean. It's have somewhat of a stock look, but still be, Kind of flashy, not not crazy, but just actually flashy is not the right word. I, I just want it to look clean and kind of match, like color match and stuff like that. I'm probably gonna go with a satin and gloss black theme on this one. Uh, I did the textured black on the 87 and that seemed to work pretty well with a black pearl on the engine. But on this one, again, satin and gloss and I think that'll, that'll keep it simple. I, I gotta powder coat all, everything that you see here. Um, I'm actually gonna give that a try and then I gotta hand paint all of this uh, bare aluminum. Uh, I don't know if uh, you remember my video, actually, pff, you probably don't because it's one of my early videos, but uh, 
enamel paint works very well on this stuff. You just scuff it and hand paint it with a brush and it flattens out on its own without any, without any thinning. And it actually looks like a powder coat and it seems to be pretty durable. It's actually held up very well in the 87. So we're gonna try that on this, this one again. I'll probably put it in a video. But uh, other than that, uh, like I was saying, uh, it's got an XFI, it's still got the stock ignition. I wanna put a two-step on it because it's got the big old turbo here. Um, and this thing's got a lot of turbo lag, a lot. So once the turbo kicks on, it really gets moving. It just, takes a while to get there. So amongst the, some of the other things that I have to fix in this car, um, I gotta fix these fans. Uh, they're pressing against the radiator core very hard and uh, they're actually bending the fins and I don't want them to wear through. Uh, another problem is like you can actually see it right there, that pipe is hitting that fan. I may have to clearance the pipe like I did on the 87. Uh, we'll see. Again, I'm trying to keep this one drivable and not have it down for a long time. That's why I haven't done any of the charge pipes or any of the powder coating that I wanna do because that'll take at least four weeks from the moment I take this off, drop it off, get it all done and back and install. The other thing that's getting modified in this car is gonna be the intake. Uh, pretty much all I'm gonna do here is add a 90 right at this point and then pretty much have the filter come out through this uh, area right here where the vacuum ball is. And I already have a way to relocate the vacuum ball and it has that round cutout already and I can actually put the filter there and uh, kind of clean up the engine bay. Again, that's uh, kind of what we're going for here. And continuing on with the things that this car needs, uh, the AC is one of those things. I originally tried to troubleshoot it as soon as I got it because that's one of those things that I like to have in a car is AC. And it also works very well when uh, you have a, you gotta use defrost and whatever. But I have not been able to figure out what's wrong with the system. I believe it is the actual uh, AC unit. Um, I have all the parts that you can replace on it. I actually have like NOS parts to put in it but I just haven't had time to troubleshoot again. Uh, time is at a premium as of late. And what else do we have on this one that I can tell you about? It's got your my suspension all around, uh, braces, the, any braces that you can imagine. It's got the uh, HR uh, engine mounts with the red compound. If you watched my previous video, you saw that that engine has the black ones. Um, supposed to be softer, but I can't tell the difference in the vibration between this one and mine. So uh, yeah, maybe just become used to it. I don't know. And anyways, uh, besides that, uh, most everything that I want to do to this car is cosmetic. I believe is uh, pretty good as it is. It's got a Dennis's dry shaft, uh, strange components in the whole rear. It's got the higher spline count uh, axles. The only downside to those axles is that it has the stock size studs unlike mine, which has the, what is it, a uh, half inch, I think? Yeah, half inch studs. But even that is not a really big deal. Uh, that's just a super easy fix too, because uh, you can just drill out the, the existing axle and uh, put in the, the larger studs. Uh, besides that, uh, I think that's it. Uh, I guess in another video, I'll show you the interior when, whenever I don't have the cover on it. The next thing that I have to do to this car is finish that exhaust that you just saw me remove. I'm gonna put either the single shot that I have on the 87 or get rid of both and just do a muffler and a turn down. Yeah, just call that an exhaust and uh, if it's not too loud, I'll keep it that way and uh, just have it as a nice cruiser, nice car show car, Sunday driver type deal and um, have the 87 be the, the mule. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe, hit that like button.